Hello, uh, welcome to Super Smash Brothers Brawl, Subspace Emissary. Uh, I know this isn't a very widely liked Smash Bros. game, but the adventure mode is really solid, and I really freaking like it. So, uh, I thought I'd do that. See how that works out. I'm gonna go with intense, but one moment. Should be fine, actually. Eh, sorry. Here we go. Ah, this game was my friggin' childhood. Just... I, I know it's not a widely liked Smash game, but like... Honestly, it's... It's okay enough. It works. It's not broken at all. Not not a single bit. There's there's zero bugs in this. 100% balanced. There aren't any characters that would be, you know, banned in a tournament. The most balanced Smash game. No silly mechanics that, you know, uh, really, really make it not great for competitiveness. It's gonna stutter here, because it's loading into it. But once it gets going, we should be fine. Here we go. I'm probably going to regret putting this on intense, but uh, I did, so I was not facing the right way. Oh, that's right. There's infinite dodging in the air, so that's good. So far, okay, there we go. There's another couple hits on him. Whew. I am very not used to playing Smash with a GameCube controller, because normally I'd do it with a N64 controller or a Switch. And usually when I play Brawl, I use the Wii Remote sideways like an NES controller. But I figured having C buttons would be more useful. So I decided I'd go with the C buttons. Nice. There we go. I freaking love the cutscenes in this. They are... They are awesome. It's got a great story. Smash Ultimate had an okay story, but it wasn't really as in-depth as this one. I mean... <laughs> like, this is... Probably, for me, one of the greatest crossover stories... Of all time, for a game or anything. Like, this is an Avengers-level crossover story. With the amount of, like... It's just... It's great. Okay, so I'm gonna go with Kirby. There we go. Nice. That's gonna be helpful. Oh no, I lost it. Oh no. Okay. Let's do that. Try and stay alive as long as possible. Totally not gonna regret going on intense mode. I think last time I did intense mode, I did it with a friend. So, uh, this is not going to be painful at all. No, this is, this is gonna be 
perfectly fine. I am not going to regret this decision <laughs> later on. Oof. There we go. Oh, whoops. Ouch. So I have two fighters left though, so I should be able to do this. There we go. No! Run, grab it, no! Ah. Darn. Oh well. It's a very common statue and I'll probably end up grabbing more as time goes on. As we make it through this. Fun and cool as World of Light was, I don't think anything's ever gonna top this. I really don't. Like, this is... This is... This is great. I love this. <laughs> Oof. Okay, okay, easy there. Let's not be too hasty with this. Uh, this might take a couple tries. <laughs> I have not played Brawl in maybe a year or so. Definitely not since quarantine started. So I'm not used to the timing of it. Because it is... There, there's a definite slowerness to the game here. Like, for sure, there's definitely, it's definitely a slower game. Oof, okay. I might be able to make it. I don't know. Oof. Nice! Phew! Oof. Nice. 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 Gonna save every chance I get. Cause that's how I do things. I save. Save the games, save the world.
Oh yeah. I can't remember how long before Uprising this came out. But, like, that's something else that Brawl did is... I think they ended up using this version of Pit for Uprising instead of the <laughs> original NES classic. NES and Game Boy classic version. Something else really cool I like about this story mode is you don't have to know anything about any of the games these characters were from to follow the story. It helps to better understand things, but you don't actually have to know, like, anything at all. So that means that it can technically be its own self-contained story. Oof. Nice. Where we go? Oof. Oh, dang. Oh well. Uh, not sure. Possibly. Probably not. Uh, I definitely want to unlock all the characters, though, through this, so I will at least be getting Wolf, Toon Link, and Jigglypuff after beating it. 100%ing it would be... that would be tough. I don't know if I've ever done that. I can't remember. we ended up doing that or not. Nah, probably not. Maybe? Nice. Okay. It'd be nice to 100% it. Oof. I don't think I ever... What 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 causes you to 100% it? Is it the golden boxes? I think I remember it being the golden boxes. Either that or it was getting a certain high enough amount of score on each level. It was one of the two. Eep. Okay, make it, make it, make it, make it. <sighs> that was close. I'm just going to move on from there. Nice. 
Let me grab that because that's going to be nice and useful. Let me also grab this. Uh, let me not do that. Okay, let's see here. Ooh, that's a special door, I think. Okay. Oof. I wanted to grab all the stickers. Oh, there it is. The Great Valu. Ouch. I am gonna take that and I'm just gonna go. I think the end of the level is coming up pretty soon. I am seeing the rays of light. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Take take care of some of my work for me. Oof. Still have one life. There we go. Nice. And it's something else I love about the story in this is just all the little tiny pieces you see early on that end up coming back. Stuff like that. Stuff like seeing the Arwen chasing after the Halberd. That stuff, it, it takes a little while. It takes like a few levels, but it ends up coming back. And it ends up being important. And I just really like that. I think that's really cool that it does that. And just how many different branching stories there are that all converge at the end. I love it. And just so much effort put into it for a fighting game story mode. That's just... I love it. Is there something to the left? No, there's nothing to the left. Because I know that's a secret, or a trick that that's used a lot, is hiding something to the left, because everyone expects to go right. in there. What's this? Uh, super scope. I generally tend not to use items, but maybe I should be using them more often. Like, if anything, I use them to throw. <laughs> like, I don't know why. Probably because of that. Probably because of that right there. If I hadn't had the super scope, I would have been able to launch them. Stickers. Gotta grab all the stickers. Okay, what's up here? 
Nice little secrets. Dang it, should have gotten it down to lower health. It's like catching a Pokemon. The lower the health they have, the easier they are to catch. And here I go, equating everything to Pokemon again. <laughs> Just all games are Pokemon. It's straight up fact. Every game you've ever played, it's Pokemon. Just all of them are Pokemon. There's not a game on this planet that doesn't exist that isn't a Pokemon game. Surprisingly, this is working out a lot better than Melee was. Not that I'm complaining, mind you, because I'm glad that it's working out so well. Because I'd hate for this not to work out well. Okay, I'm gonna adjust how I'm sitting because my leg is starting to fall asleep. There we go. <sighs> Oh, not these things. Yeesh. Come on, there we go. Okay. Let's take care of these, because otherwise they're just going to follow me and be a bother later on. And I don't want that. Okay, I think we're good. I will take that soda, and I will take that strawberry, thank you. And this, because this will be helpful. I already have one of those, so I'm good. Oh, no, no, not what I wanted. Okay. Ah. Uh -huh. Whew. Oof. Thankfully, you start back at the previous door. You just lose points and stickers, and it's sad. But you get to continue, so that's good. That's that's going to happen a lot, because I chose Intense. keep missing with those uh, trophy bases. There we go. There we go. Nice. Took care of all of them. 
Oh, that's gonna be nice and useful. Yeah, just take them right out. Take them right out, or at least weaken them for me. Thank you for that. That's very helpful. I think I'm supposed to go up. I can't remember, though. It could be up, it could be down. It's down. Okay. I will take that, though, and just... Ooh, I will take that. Thank you. Dang it. I'll just hold on to it for now. Nice! There we go. I am just getting rocketed around here. And there I go. These things are very annoying. There we go. Okay. There we go. That's a good. That's a very good right there. Let's go with this. that. Woo! Oh, there's two of them. Nice! That definitely won't be, uh, troublesome. Oof. Got up to 500% there. That's a lot. Definitely not getting stuck in an infinite combo here. That's definitely not what's happening. Okay. We got one of them. I'm not even gonna bother with that food, because, like, it's not gonna be useful. There we go. Nice. Onward into the jungle.
Nice. I don't want to grab that because I want to go there. Nice. Nice. There we go. Oh, I thought for sure I was going to land on him and be able to do that. Oh well. Oof. That's tough. There we go. Uh, I don't really need that. Thank you, though. There we go. Oh, that made a platform up here there. No, that takes us forward, doesn't it? Yeah, I want to try and see what's up here first. Nice. I'll take it. Ouch. Nice. Fully healed. There we go. That should help with what most likely is a battle coming up. Probably, yep, yeah, right there. No, let me grab, let me grab. Nice. Ah! No. No. Oof. Okay. There we go. Ouch. I'm gonna grab that even though I don't really need it fully. go. No, 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 no. Oh. I hope I can respawn fast enough to grab that. No. Dang it. Oh, there goes the careening dirigibug. bug. Oof. go in here. Nice. That's helpful.
Ouch. Oof. Right at the last second there. Dang. Let's give that another try. Let's see if going back in here gives anything. No. Okay. Back down we go. Okay, so I want to do a good bit of damage here first before I, uh... Before I do that. Before I do... No, no, don't land on it. Don't land on it. Whatever you do, don't freaking land on it. There we go. Got the big goomb. There we go. Oh no. And it looks like if I am going to do 100%, which I'm still not sure on, I'll have to go back there. Probably for that greening dirigibug trophy. Oh, we just go right in. No cutscene or anything. I also really love the music made specifically just for subspace. Like, I love the plane's theme, and I love the themes for inside of subspace. Well, I got something. Let's see what it was. Apparently nothing, because it went off screen and disappeared. Darn. Oof. remember if there's anything up there or not. I guess I can try and see. I don't think there's anything up here. Nah, there's nothing there. Huh, I'm just gonna run past. make it there. There we go. bit of food. That's good. That's very good. Yeah. 
I don't think I can get up there. I think I need Pit to get up there. And if not, then I just don't have the coordination to pull it off. There we go. Nice, nice. Hopefully I can stay alive long enough to make it through here. Or at least long enough to grab that. Still have one more pit and one Mario left, so I should be good. There we go. One more. There we go. Onward. this. I think there's another... Yeah, gonna want to use that right there. Aw, oh, dang. Okay. That sucks. Oof. Forgot to save last time, so I'll save here. Ah, yes, the lake. See, this is interesting because they're using different music for the cutscene here. Because that's Space Armada, but it doesn't it doesn't have the main music track to it. So that's pretty interesting. Okay.
Oof. Something else to note is these boss bars are very misleading. Because when you start getting down closer to... Uh... Dang, did I just perfect shield there? I don't think I've ever done that before. At least not intentionally. That wasn't intentional, but like... Anyways, as I was saying, as you get closer to beating it, the amount of percentage of the boss bar that goes down just shortens a lot, significantly. As in, percentage of the bar done per sh hit. Am I gonna get this on the first try? Whoo! Nice! Ah, one of these. Okay. There's two... Technically, I guess you could say three levels like this. Where you have to switch between uh, two different versions of the same level. I think that's a really cool mechanic for them to do that. I think that's, like, really cool. Something you don't see often is being able to do that. Like, sometimes in a game you'll play through the same level twice in different variants, but I feel like you don't really get to, uh, just play through the same level at will, being able to switch which side, which part of it you're on. And I think that's really cool and unique. Nice. There's probably something over there. There is. Oof. Eee! Right, don't need to go here yet. Need to go through here first.
Okay, and that did something. There should be a secret on this side now. Can't remember. Hang on. I want to check something. I can't remember if that did anything to here or not. Nope, still just a ball of fire. one maybe? No. Okay. Heck. Ouch. I have no idea what that means. Uh, <laughs> I do not play Smash at a technical level. I am very confused. Okay. Oh, okay. I think I get what you mean. All right. Yeah, like when I'm flung against one. Got it. Okay, that added nothing there. Gotta love that Naruto run. Just like an Area 51. Ah, this. Right. Oof, I missed that. Hopefully I can respawn in time to grab that door. No, no, no. Phew! That was close. Because I almost missed something important here. Music. Eep. Oof. Huh. I missed the box, but that's okay. At least I made it through the level. I want to know the physics of that. <laughs> How does that work? Oh, oh, shoot. Uh, we're, we're, we're playing. Right, right. Uh, the, 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 this is a game. <laughs> this is game. Huh. 
Aha, oh. You have defeated my trick. Oh, nice. Now it's just... Now, now Baz is just going to completely avoid me altogether. Nice. Now is the time to run! Ah, the Ruined Zoo. It's one of my favorite levels in this whole thing, just because of... Just, just because of the level of detail to it. So, like, you play as Lucas from Mother 3. And you get to meet Ness as well. But it's a ruined zoo, which which may seem like completely random, but like a ruined zoo is one of the first places you go to in the original mother. Earthbound Zero as it was called over here. So like I think that's a pretty neat callback that like they, they at least acknowledge the first game exists. And the third. Took him like 20 years to get the first one over here. Let's see how many it takes to get the third. <laughs> it's never, it's never coming. Mother 3 does not exist. Oof. Whew. No, out out of my way. I can just oh, I thought I could just follow behind. <laughs> Whoops. Oh yeah. My main for Smash 64. Oof. 
Ouch. Oof. Okay, there we go. Whew. No, no wait, no, don't, don't, don't do that. There we go. Only problem is, now I gotta go way off screen to grab the stickers. Oh no, it's Wario Head, and he's brought the entire body with him. Should have known not to go into the Dire Dire Docks hallway. <laughs> See, little did we all know that locked door uh, in Dire Dire Docks actually just leads to the Rune Zoo. And that's where Wario comes from. Add that to the iceberg. <laughs> and it even makes sense because there's ice in the level. See, I'm not crazy. <laughs> Okay, do we go with the small child or do we go with the uh, water turtle? Let's go water turtle. Turtle may be fast, but it sure does get launched easily. There we go. There we go. Nice. There we go, there's one. There's 
There's most of them. There we go. Onward. say ouch okay that was a thing oh there's a there's one of these okay I had no reason to do that, but I did it, and I got a sticker, and so I'm happy. Yay for stickers! I've never really used them. <laughs> Even though they're basically like the spirits of this version of Smash. I've just never used them. And I don't think I know... I, I could be wrong, but I don't know of anyone who has used the stickers, because they're just... They're hidden away off in a menu of their own. And I don't generally think to use them. There we go. Ouch, no, please don't. No, oh. Okay then. That's okay, I guess. I didn't need that life at all. Totally didn't need it. Oh. <laughs> Hello, welcome. There I go. Continue. Okay, I got this. Let me grab that pickle. Oh, I just... okay. No, 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 stop. I want to grab the... I want to grab the thing. No, 
No, stop. No, don't. There we go. Nice. Okay, there we go. Whew. Okay, let's give this area another shot. Uh, I will probably be out very soon. Uh, just because of the high percentage. Yeah, I figured. Uh, but that's okay. I still have, like, three more tries at this. Before I have to retry the area again. Oh, we are almost near the end. I can see the rays of light now. As I'm just gonna run past. There we go. Nice. Whew, another area down. I think I'll do one more and then call it. Ugh. Probably switch to Metroid Fusion. Or I could just go the whole time doing this. I'd be okay with that. Because I just, I really freaking enjoy subspace. It's really good. I am getting flashbacks to tough times ahead. This level... It's very tough near the end, unless I'm thinking of a different one. If I'm thinking of a different one, then uh, should be fine for now. But if I am indeed not thinking... Sorry for the loud noise, I'm just adjusting how I'm sitting. If I'm thinking of a different one, then we're safe for now. No, it's definitely this one. It's definitely 100% this one. Yeah. This one has very tough spots near the end. Ah, Marth. Appeared in a Smash game in the US before he even had a game of his own. Japan he had games, but not over here. Not, not over in the US. And then they came out for like the Game Boy Advance, I think. So we only ever got the remakes of the first couple Fire Emblem games. Oh, I am so very not used to how Marth controls. I rarely ever play Marth. Right, down B is a counter. Good to know, good to remember that. There we go. Three hundred and fifty two, that's a lot of percent. I got to be careful here. Okay. Nice. Not so nice. Nice. That's not too helpful, though, because, like, either way, one hit and I am going rocketing out of here. Just absolutely zooming out. 
I'm gonna run past, because I don't want to deal with that. Oh, they follow me. How far do they follow me? Do they follow me very far? I hope not. There I go. At least now I get a nice fresh start. I'm actually going to go back through there because for all I know that could be like stickers or something and like those are my friggin jam. Fr friggin love those stickers. <laughs> Ouch. Well, a fat lot of good that did me. I ended up taking more damage than I healed. <sighs> there we go. Ouch. Is that a sticker? Ooh, that's a sticker. I'll take it. Thank you. Yeah, I remember this being rough. And I remember that that was not a good decision to do that, but I did it anyways. Nice. Okay. Give me that. No. No. That's not allowed. Oof. Okay. There we go. Okay, I'll take that. Hopefully I can use it. Nope, don't get a chance to use it. Alright, that's fine. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Time to start spamming away. Ugh. <laughs> Except that usually happens when I play Meta Knight, because I try to you know, take advantage of the various uh, exploits, but I just, I don't know how to do them well enough. And I just end up, you know, falling off the edge or just getting hit a bunch and blasted away pretty quickly. So it's like my own fault that that happens. It's because I try to be spammy with it, but like, I don't know how to be spammy with Meta Knight. So stuff like that just ends up happening.
Oof. Okay. We're gonna retry that. Away I go. Uh, thank you for the follow, String Cheese. String Cheese Alt. Okay. Thank you. All right, let's let's give this another shot. Also, sorry there was no uh, on-screen notification. I'm just lazy and haven't set that up yet. Ah yes, this I remember. I remember now. I remember how to be spammy. And away I go. I, I am terrible with Mennonite. <laughs> I just... I gotta look into how to be spammy with Mennonite. Oof. Okay, there's only a few left. I might be able to make it this time. Okay. Oof. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. These buckots are really, really doing me in. Okay. Oof. Okay. There we go. Alright. This may take a few tries. Alright, so I'm just gonna stop even trying to be spammy with Meta Knight, because I know that I don't know how to. So, there's no point in me trying if I'm just gonna end up, you know, doing a bunch of stupid stuff and not really getting anywhere with it. No, 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 okay. Nope. There we go. Nope, nope, not yet, not yet. There we go. Come here, C come here. There we go. There we go. Well, at least I took a few with me there. Nice! It's gonna throw one last... Oh. Just you. Okay. Bye! Nice! Whew! That's good. That's great. There we go. Okay, now we have this segment to go through. 
if I recall, is also a pretty tough one. This is a very long level. Some of them are longer than others. Okay, there we go, there we go. Nice, plenty of health, plenty of health. No, grab, grab the tomato. Ah, uh, yes. Let me grab the statue, okay, I'm out, no, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, no. Dang it, okay. At least I got the statue. At least I got the statue, and now we can take on another onslaught of things here. Dang it! Okay, let's let's we're gonna redo that because uh, I can, and that'll be good, and that's nice. There we go. Okay. I don't need those. There we go. I do remember this being very overpowered, and it does seem to be so. I'm gonna grab all of this, because all of this looks like something that I might need to help me take maybe one or two more hits. Give me anything up there? No. Okay. That's fine. Whew. And even more still. <laughs>
Mm, yeah, I remember the caves. I remember this cave. I remember the minecart cave. No, wait, I didn't want to go back. There we go. Ooh, I'm remembering something else. I remember this being very, very... That being a very, very useful... I'm starting to remember how to play Meta Knight a bit. There we go. Should help to take a few more hits. I think that's it. I think that's it. I, I still can't unhear Ike doing that. I, I can't unhear him saying free pizza. Like, you cannot convince me that he is not saying free pizza. Also, oh, geez, it still isn't over yet? Like, I could have sworn this was three different levels. Like, the sections in this... It's such a long level that, like, you'd think that they would split it up at least into, like, three separate levels instead of just, you know. This is one level. This is one massively long level. Okay, let's see here. This is probably just the end right here. Yes. That was a long one. Alright, there we go. Whew. 
Whew. And away goes Luigi. Poor Weege. I just love the little musical cues or how they cut certain songs to be like just right. To be shortened. I just made no sense. Sorry for that loud slam. Okay, and I'm gonna leave this off here for the uh, archive stuff. I'm probably gonna keep going with Brawl for another round, because <laughs> I'm really enjoying this. But I'm gonna end recording here and start another one. All right, see ya, have a good day. Uh, stay safe. Uh, and I will uh, end this here for the archive.